What's up everybody, RJ here. Uh, I'm gonna do a little quick video of my finds for this weekend. I got some other stuff too. Um, you know, this stuff, got stuff scattered here and yonder and trying to help get this done before the sun goes down. Um, it's a pretty good weekend. I kind of went Thursday and Friday and Saturday. I didn't do a whole lot Thursday, just a little bit. Um, had some pretty good finds this weekend. Um, a couple of community yard sales and and I had the Highway 411 yard sale, and I went up it uh, Friday, and I kind of wished I'd went back yesterday, and uh, I didn't, but, you know, it's one of them things. Well, anyway, let's get started here. Um, and like I say, just like my other videos, if you got any comments or any, if you got any knowledge about any of this stuff, let me know, and i uh, be glad to hear it. Uh, first, I picked up these two uh, troll dolls. They're the bigger ones with the blue eyes. Um, don't know a whole lot about troll dolls. I'm trying to figure out too. Um, these are from 1991, and uh, one of them actually talks. You press its stomach. I got to put a new battery in it and stuff. But um, got those for uh, I think two dollars for both of those together. Um, yesterday morning, I thought this was just a neat little novelty piece. It's a, uh, it's a vintage Max box set, and it's got the Pope. And then Bill Clinton, it says Grope. Hitler, it says Yes We Can. And then, I don't know who it is, it says Damn. And, oops, I'm going to block that out. Um, and then there's Bush saying Oops. Uh, just a cool little set, I thought. I uh, found a fire, I paid 50 cents for that. Found a uh, J.Dot Fire King mug. Uh, looks like brand new. Got it for 10 cents in a uh, box of mugs. And the lady said 10 cents. Got a Mars Professional Technical Drawing Pen Set, brand new. She had $1.50 on it, I got it for a dollar. That's brand new, it's a nice little set. A Schaefer Pen, I got 50 cents. A Pixie Viewer, uh, and this is, it's like brand new. Um, it's really cool. Uh, you take the pictures, the little slides, and kind of put them in it. Um, really neat piece. Might make a video later taking it out and showing. It's got some really interesting uh slides in it about the indians cherokee indians and stuff this was a really cool piece i thought it's a keep sharp raggedy and pencil sharpener this is an old pencil sharpener what you do is you put the pencil down in here and um forget what year it's from janex corporation um i don't know if i ever found a year on it but oh yeah i did actually it's uh 1974 the Bob's Merrill Company. Uh, really cool piece. I got that for a dollar. I thought it was a pretty cool pickup. Got these uh, Kellogg tins. The little the little cans. One of them is Kellogg's All Brand. And then there's Eat. Uh, Eat Prep. The Better Brand. Uh, Pep. I'm sorry. Uh, got these for a nickel a piece. Got a Papa Smurf sign that's still in the plastic. And it says, Who's Your Papa? Thought it was cool. Got it for 50 cents. I found a 1983 uh, Luigi from Mario Brothers plush. Um, of course, my son's done playing that. So I um, got a whole box of uh, uh, Transformers. There's all different kinds in there. I got. I don't. I got to figure them out. But um, got those for uh, two dollars for that whole box. Um, I got this piece for a dollar. It is a transformer piece, a huge piece. I have no idea what it goes to. I just know it's got the transformer symbol on the bottom part of it there. Um, if anybody knows what that goes to, let me know. Dreadnought, some of you guys that deal with some of that stuff, let me know. Um, got these Beatles salt and pepper shakers. They're in the shape of a drum for a dime. This was a really good find. It's the Transformer Star Wars Darth Vader Death Star. I uh, don't have the box, but it's got the instructions, um, and there's the Death Star, and it's got the little the lightsabers that go with it and light up and all that. I uh, got that. I paid uh, $4 for that, so I know it's a pretty good deal. Found a couple of uh, license plate, uh, Ski Utah, the greatest snow on earth, and Alabama, stars fell on Alabama. Got those for free. Um, Got this little skull back here that the roses actually move around and light up and it lights up on the inside and projects something out. I got to put batteries in it. Got it for a dollar, I think it was. Uh, these Fender Tender 2s for a boat. 
Um, got those free in a free box too. I got three Brayer horses. And they're actually Brayer... Brayer Reeves horses. Uh, I got those for a dollar a piece. And check out some of the listings on those. Those do pretty good, actually. Um, I got a Kingfisher uh, spinning reel. Brand new in the box. It's an older one. Garcia. Um, don't know a whole lot about it, but I gave 50 cents for it. I got another one of the Coke trays. 25 cents. I got a set of spark plugs. AC uh, spark plugs. For, uh, from 1978 still complete and these are the ones on the paper the outside coating feels like wax paper uh, I got that for two dollars um, I got a National Motor Club service Cedar Springs Dallas Texas uh, key fall key chain thing whatever that's called got it for a quarter I uh, saw this it was 25 cents I thought it was just a little photo album or something I thought it had Braves cards but I opened it up and it actually got Wolverine and these are like from the early 90s I think I think was the date on them but it's just you know it's got all kind of cards in it I don't know anything about them but I'll do some checking uh, got these uh, strategy guides a Zelda a Legend of Zelda Links to the Past and a Metal Gear got them for a quarter piece that was a pretty good deal I think I uh, got these uh, old uh, M&M dispensers, and they're endangered wildlife banks is what they are. M&M's Wild Adventures. They're still in the plastic. Got those for a quarter piece. I got a Nintendo 64. It's dirty. This lady just pulled it out of her garage, and there's the, all the cables and the controllers, and I got that for $2. I got a little Soundtech radio still in the box with instructions. Got it for a dollar. Got that thing that's really cool book in a free box. It's um it's got all kind of it's a graphic design book and it's just got beautiful pictures all the way through it. Uh, I think it's from 2001. Um Paul Woods is uh I guess this is his artwork and stuff. But a uh, real thick book and it's called Illustrators and Designers Showcase. So I got that free. Anyway, got this uh erector set. Um, and it's got just all kind of stuff. It's got two layers of stuff in it. Uh, the instructions. And actually, these instructions here. When I bought this, she had a $5 price tag on it. And I uh, said I want it. She said, well, this go, this bag here goes with it. So she handed me another bag. And it actually had this, um, it's a nano building system. Smoking stunt speedway from Mega Blocks. So here's the directions, and there's all the pieces, the cars, and I asked her, I told her I'd give her $3 for it, and she took it. So I got three for, paid $3 for the uh, Rector set and the um, um, Mega Blocks racing thing, whatever it is. I didn't, I never heard of this. Oh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, I got a, they've got these free washer and dryer uh, water hoses, got those free. Found this bag of um, old train, I mean a uh, track, and it's got all these little cars and stuff in it. Some of them are the magnetic, it's got the little trees and everything. But what caught my attention when I started looking on these little cars, I know you ain't gonna read this because my camera sucks. Um, they're 1972 Mattel. Um, is what's on the bottom of these older train cars. Um, so I gotta do a little research on those, but. I paid a dollar for that whole bag. So, you know, I think some of it's older and some of it's newer. Um, got this really cool KISS poster and it's framed in a really nice wood frame. But it's actually, I don't know if you can be able to see it on here. And I don't think it's going to work, but it's actually 3D when you're looking at it and move around. It's a 3D poster. Uh, I got that for $2. Really nice poster. Um, got this Erector set. And uh, you can make like 12, uh, 27 illustrated models, you know, but uh, he already had the helicopter put together. And it's actually motorized. It's got the motor, so you can, I don't have a battery in it. When you put a battery in it, the rotor starts turning. It had the uh, manuals. 
and all the tools and there's some extra parts in the box um, it's from 1991 uh, really nice set this guy I actually bought a couple of games from him I'll show you another one in just a minute um, but you can take out a part and build all different kind of stuff so that's a pretty neat pickup there and um, I know that uh, I'm kind of behind on a few things I owe uh, Vintage Fetcher a hat and uh, Marion Springs guys a hat. Guys, I've had a lot going on the last couple of weeks, um, and there ain't no excuse for me not getting it out to you, but I apologize. Uh, I'm going to be getting them out, um, you know, just bear with me. And uh, to kind of give you a hint of some of the stuff that's going on, uh, you know, it's, um, well, that's part of it. So anyway, I'll get into details later. I just don't want to talk about a whole lot of everything right now. And no, my wife's not pregnant. That's not that's not it. But uh, we'll get into some other things later on. But um, anyway, I found this um, this set of uh, white. I think it's white stag ski pants. Got a thirty-eight dollar or thirty-five dollar price tag on them. Got them for a dollar. And I got this ski um, outfit. It's Australian ski team or something to that effect. And they're older ones. But they're perfect for my son. Uh, he's going on a ski trip in December and never been, so paid a dollar for those. And uh, this was another cool find I had. And if anybody can tell me any information about this, I can't find any markings on it. This is a cast iron bank. Um, and the lady pulled it out of the box, same box. So I was talking about that Nintendo. They're doing a little estate sale. Pulled it out and I grabbed it. And it's actually full of pennies, some pennies from the 60s and 70s. Um, it's a really cool piece. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's dirty. But I don't know anything about it, and I don't really know where to... I mean, ain't no markings on it. But uh, anyway, that, uh, that guy that had all the games, I got this Space Warp. It's from the 70s. I can't see the date on it right now. Um, it's a fun to play challenge to build, construct your own crazy roller coaster. You know, you build a roller coaster and then the marble has to go down it. And um, it takes batteries, so it does something. It lights up, I think. All the pieces are there. It's complete. The instructions are in there. Um, really cool, cool looking game. So I think that one do pretty good. The box is in really good shape. And then I bought this. I walked up to a guy and he had, didn't have a whole lot sitting out at that community sale. And this is a the Osprey, a charming New England style fishing boat. It's uh, a building project for all modelers. Step by step instructions over 35 photos to walk you through the construction of building that wood boat. Um, and these are the ones that you can actually add the motor to and they'll actually run uh, in the water and stuff. He had a $10 sticker on it, but then he had a sign up that said make offers, so I offered him $5 and he took it. Uh, it's by Dumas Boats. Um, I don't know a whole lot on it. I haven't got to look it up, but if anybody knows anything, let me know. I'm going to do a little research on it and see what comes up. But uh, that's most of my finds for this weekend. I've got some other stuff floating around here somewhere, but if I run across anything else that's worthy of putting on a video, I'll make another one. But anyway, guys, hope y'all had a good weekend. If anybody finds anything, I mean, knows anything about these finds, just let me know. Appreciate it. Thanks.